Okay, here we go. So we're going to set about um, making this sun glow. So what I'm going to do is just render this to show you the fact that it doesn't glow at the moment. So there you can see it's just showing the image as it is. Now, if you're working with the same file that I'm working with, you might just have to check when you render, because originally when I rendered this, it just came up black. So I may well have done something to the file that causes the default light not to work. If that is the case, just create a new light as I have done here. There's my light by going to create um, lights and just create a new point light and that will make sure that you can see everything. So we've now got um, a sun that doesn't glow so let's change that. So we'll need Photoshop or a similar photo editing application for this. And we're just going to open um, the image so it's in source images and it's the sky versus moon image. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it as something else so I can't accidentally um, damage my original file. So, file, save as, and I'm going to call it uh, glow map. And I'll save that for now. And that way, no matter what I do, I'm not interfering with my original file. Right, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to find my son. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in on it. There we go. And because I need to create a white shape that is exactly um, those dimensions, or as close as I can get it. So I'm just going to use my um, oval tool, or ellipse tool it's called. So if you can't see that, just click and hold on the rectangle tool and choose ellipse. And then make sure your foreground colour is set to white. And then you're just going to click and drag to something that's about the right shape like that. And you'll get yourself a white circle. Brilliant. What you'll do once you've got that is just right click on that layer and you're going to choose rasterize. Uh, and that's the sort of most difficult bit about this done. We then just need another new layer, which is this icon down here. Uh, and I'm going to put that behind the ellipse layer and I just need to fill this with black which I believe is alt and delete on your keyboard. Okay so if I now press control and zero this is all I've created. So it's a black image with a white spot on it. Could not be more easy. What I'm going to do now is go file save as. Uh, I'm going to save it as glow map again. This time I'm just going to choose target though. Uh, it is my favorite of the image formats. Um, and click on save. Okay, what you don't want to choose here is 32 bits per pixel because that might put a transparency um, on it which we don't want. So make sure you leave it 24 bits per pixel. Okay, and that's that done. So I'll just minimize Photoshop and then what we're going to do is assign the glow map to the sky texture that we created previously. So open up your hypershade click on your sky material and you'll see under special effects there's glow. So what I could do, let me just hide that, is I could just turn the glow all the way up and then if I was to render it kind of all the sky would glow. Which if you're kind of making it like your mountains are in hell or something that might be appropriate. But I don't like it. So I only want it to make that one area glow. So I click on this checker box. I choose file. Click on the folder of the image name and I'm going to add the glowmap.tga. There it is. Click on open. And now if I just click back on this material, you'll see that glow intensity is turned all the way back up again, but it's only going to work on that one area. So if I now render again, you can now see that the glow effect is just coming from the sun which looks really cool. So when this is animated and we've got the camera following the plane, um, it's going to make that sun look a lot better, especially if it ever goes behind any mountains at any point. Okay, so that's adding a glow to the sun. So we'll leave that video there and in the next video we will set about getting some cameras put into this scene uh, ready for getting this rendered, which as I'm sure you're already aware is going to look ace. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.